So, Jack, uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank I mean, you. whatever the journey was, I'm sure it was a very beautiful, challenging journey at the same time. Uh, my first question to you is, did you expect your elimination or you thought uh, that maybe you, you, you can be saved? Anything? Well, um, uh, first of all, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Wow, what a remarkable crowd. Um, uh, well, expect and not expect, um, I didn't have this in mind at all, to be honest. Um, uh, I honestly didn't think I'm going to be able to make it this far. Seventh week, that was an achievement to me. So, uh, I think... Um, the fact that I made it this far, I won a trophy. The moment I entered the house, it was home to me. So whether I am still in the house or not, I'm still in India. And if India is my home, that means Big Boss is my home. So uh, it started there, but it will never end because I'm here to stay. I'm not here to go anywhere. So Jack who do you think you, uh, should eliminate, uh, eliminate instead of you? Um, no, I, I don't have uh, I don't have an answer for that because um, if I left, that means um, I got maybe the least votes, and um, I'm not supposed to stay anymore because people see it differently than we see it inside. Even if we were asked to um, uh, to choose someone to be eliminated, still the people see it differently because you guys see everything. The only thing we see is the conversations we have the only thing we notice there is what we have when one on one or we're sitting in a group but on the other hand another group is having another conversation and they have another opinion so i can't say that uh, someone else should be eliminated instead of me no i can't say that uh, Jack, 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 uh, one of the initial things uh, apart from your personality which people really liked you was your camaraderie with Manisha which you know as time went it got lost again I think uh, you know uh, it, it was there what do you want to say what about your, your equation with Manisha and why did it decline we want to know about that um, well uh, something about uh, Manisha she's a cute girl she's someone uh, who expresses herself in just one way in flirting and personally, I, I find it a bit awkward. I mean, someone who flirts all the time, it doesn't, it's not genuine anymore. So if you like someone, you flirt with them, okay? But if you flirt with everybody, that's, that's, that's that the interest is gone. If I had like 1% interest, it's gone. If I see that, it's gone. So reverse the situation. How would it look like to you guys? If I was the one, flirting with her the whole time if i was the one jumping on her the whole time if i was the one coming to her and hugging her and giving her all of the things she was trying to give me physical may i ask how would i look to you would i still be in big boss house or in jail <laughs> what would you call me yeah. harasser criminal but just because I'm a man, I should be uh, bowing down and allow things to happen to me, allow uh, people to throw whatever it is that they have in them at me, and I should just be quiet and say nothing, just because I'm a man. I don't have feelings. I have feelings. I have a lot of feelings. And I'm very emotional. I'm very emotional, extremely expressive. And if I hug somebody, I give them everything in me just to them to feel better if they're sad, to boost their energy, to make them feel more confident. Not because I like to touch someone's ass, not because I like to feel. I'm 38. I traveled the world. I've seen everything. I've done everything. I have lived my life to the fullest. I don't need a house with millions of cameras watching me to flirt with someone or to touch someone physically if I hug them. I don't have any intentions when I hug someone. But you guys only see when I hug the girls. You don't see when I hug Avinash, when I hug Elvish, 
when I hug Abhi Sheikh, when I give him this brotherly support, then listen, man, don't be, don't be fucking sad. Doesn't matter. Whatever you did, it's okay. Man up. You don't see that? You only see if I hug the girl and I kissed her head. You only see a pure, a pure, a pure kiss between me and Akanksha. And you make a story out of it. It was pure. It was beautiful. If you take that 30 second, if you take that 30 second and you put it in a movie, I promise you this movie will make a hit because that kiss was beautiful. I wish I can live that kiss, that moment again. I owe Akanksha a huge apology for saying um, she's a bad kisser. Actually, I am the bad kisser. She's not a bad kisser. She's a wonderful kisser. And to an extent where she blew me off the ground. I swear to God, I, when I watched that video, when I was out of the house, and I had the opportunity to look over my phone and, she, and see the videos on YouTube and uh, social media, I was blown away. And I realized I went back in time to that moment. And I realized after they counted till 20, it was like supposed to be 20 seconds. 20 seconds, I wasn't even in the house. I was somewhere else. I wasn't in the house. For 20 seconds, I was blown away. The last 10 seconds, I didn't know where I was. I felt like I was somewhere else and then I woke up and what happened? In my mind, I was kissing someone, but she wasn't there. That's because of how amazing the kiss was. I went to Avinash and told him she's a bad kisser. No, I am the bad kisser. My apologies go to you, Akanksha. I love you so much for that moment. That's, that was remarkable. Thank you for making it so memorable. Thank you. Yeah, you Jack, we, have, we have seen this thing that uh, you like Indian people and you, you just confess you like India also. But why do you want to change Indian habits? Because in house, inside the house, I, I have seen that and we have seen that you change Manisha habit about eating food with hands. And you also said this thing to uh, Ashika also and one comment also that look dog is eating. So why this kind <gasps> of things? Yeah, we have I seen said this. That, oh my yeah. God, I so am so sorry. So why you just wanted to change Indian habits? No, I did not. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. I am so so sorry and also somewhere or the other you also changed because uh, the once when uh, Salman scolded you after that we saw your uh, another personality uh, totally like uh, you changed yourself like can I check can I answer this yeah. question first yeah. okay um, uh, okay so where I come from um, I, I, I I normally eat with cutleries okay uh, it's not that I wanted to change that, but because I see Manisha like doing a lot of things at the same time and putting oil on her hair and then cooking and then uh, fixing stuff with her hands and then suddenly she takes the plate and I noticed that. I paid really good attention if you see that. If you paid attention really good, you would see where I'm coming from, from asking her to eat with cutleries. If you see that, but you did not see that. So I'm going to comment on that. So... I watched her, I observed her really good to allow myself to say that to her and try to teach her, listen, elegantly, I'm not trying to change your culture or your habits, but elegantly, it would look nice on you, cute lady like you, looking nice and cute and sweet, it's nice if you try to eat in, in, uh, in cutlery, okay? So, I observed her. I saw what she was doing until the point where she took her plate and she sat on the table and she started eating with her hand. Can you imagine the amount of germs on her hands that she didn't wash her hands actually and she started eating, doing everything that she was doing, taking, taking the plate, sitting and eating with her hands. I just walk and I stand there in a very nice and cute and genuine way. Yeah. Not like I was trying to force my... Uh, opinion on her and every time it was genuine every time it was funny and suddenly when she sees me she start eating with her mouth closed and she start like you know yeah. <laughs> but, but it wasn't Ashika was there and you just commented with Gia that uh, of course she was eating with her hands and she, you just commented that dog eating and all. I am really sorry if that came out of me I am really sorry I don't I swear to my daughter's life and I don't remember I said that I hope that somebody can show me that video. If you guys have it, that would be great. I would be more than grateful to see it. Um, uh, if I said that, I am really, really, really sorry. 
it wasn't it wasn't meant to come out of me like this i never say anything about anybody like that at all no matter where they come from no matter who they are no matter if they're poor or rich uh, um, educated or not i come from that background i come from a place where i was in a phase in my life where i had to eat from the garbage yeah so if that makes me a dog then i'm a dog and what's wrong with being a dog dog doesn't have uh, souls they have a soul right? right we see them here on the street nobody does any in fact they feed them so if that makes me a dog because i eat from the garbage then i'm happy to be a dog <laughs> to be called a dog i don't mind but just you know i I feel I feel genuinely um, sorry that I if I said that. Uh, Jack, I'm sorry, uh, Obama's forgive me. Statement we have frequently listened from your side that uh, you have said most of the people in the house have two faces. So uh, and it has been most of the time for Manisha uh, because you uh, felt betrayed at some point of the time in the game. So uh, what's your take on the entire thing? Uh, like why do you felt so? Same from Manisha. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if you guys noticed, if you observed uh, well you would see that I stopped saying that two weeks ago about the two faces. Why? Because it took me that long to understand the game. I was stupid that I didn't understand the game earlier. If I understood the game earlier, I would have played differently and I would have had two faces. One for the game and one for the show. One for the tasks and the challenges, and one when I'm sitting with, that, with my group, with my friends, with them, with every one of them. I would have had two faces too. But because I just had one face, and I was able to spot people like, what the hell? How is she babu me, babu and loving and all over me the whole time flirting with me, and suddenly in the task, she's against me. How is Abby Sheikh? so connected to me and so supportive to me and so a great listener and I call him a brother and I, I, I push him through and I always motivate him to work out and I always uh, um, push him to challenge himself. How is he against me out of the sudden in the, in the task? So this is why I was saying two faces. But I, was, I didn't mean that there are two faces as, in, as, in, in bad, uh, as, as they are bad people. Just that I realized late, the two face is normal, obviously. And I should have had that two face thing. I should have had it since the beginning. So I could have maybe played better. And I could have maybe still in the, in the house till now. And it's too late. But uh, final two questions, huh? Uh, do you okay, think, uh, uh, Jack, you asked me. Uh, you you asked me. Sorry. Uh, do you also think uh, there was some uh, communication barrier uh, in between the game? Uh, like uh, most of the things were not conveyed properly uh, to you, uh, as it was uh, as, as it was shown in the uh, game. Yeah, the translation sometime because um, at some point I felt. Uh, um, it's too heavy. Like if somebody's asking me the whole time. What's that? What's it? What did you say? What did they say? It's, 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 um, it's annoying. And I felt like I was, I was even annoyed from my own self. Um, having to, to ask for translation the whole time. At some point, I felt like, you know what? Just try to understand as much as you can, Jad. Try to pick up words and connect the words to the body language. It was a lot for me to understand. And it's, it's a huge task. Aside of the tasks that I had to go through, and, and not to hurt anybody, even if I was nominating someone, I was trying to make it sound like a, an advice more than I was going straight and, and trying to break them down. Because in many tasks, in many nomination, nominating, um, in many tasks where, the, where we had to nominate someone, I was looking at people nominating each other and the way they, nom the way the, the reasons they 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 portray the reason it was so aggressive it was so aggressive that the person comes comes back feeling drained and and so disappointed in themselves so i'm like no that's if i if i have to nominate you i don't have to have a negative reason to nominate you i can nominate you but i'll i'll highlight the recent thing that that's it i don't go back to where, before you were born pick up stuff from your grandma and carry it in the luggage and bring it with me to the nomination. I don't have to do that. I don't have to hurt you to nominate you. 
So it was a lot for me to observe because when I got to the point where I was nominating people, I felt like, no, I should not be negative about this. I should just tell them, give them an advice of how to, to flip the switch and change maybe the way they, they, they um, react or maybe the way they judge each other. So that's how I looked at it. Your incident happened with Babika, and then afterwards, she, uh, she assassinated, assassinated uh, you know, Manisha's character. So, what is your take on that? What would you like to say on you know, uh, Babika's aggression or uh, behavior? <laughs> Look, uh, Babika, <laughs> I call her baby. <laughs> she's my baby. So, do you think no she's matter. innocent? Um, she's an innocent, that's, I don't, that's not for me to judge because you guys see, the, like I said, you see it differently. Uh, for me, I had an incident with Bebika. It was um, wrong of me to behave that way. And um, I realized that quick. It was, took me like a few minutes. I understood what happened. And um, I felt ashamed of my reaction. And um, genuinely, I was ready. Like. Can I speak, if I can speak to her now, even they tried to communicate us back again, but they couldn't because Bibika is someone, because it kind of gave me um, like a chance to, to understand whatever is happening around me quick and uh, be able to, to, um, to portray myself. And I've done a mistake and okay, this is how I apologize to my mistake. Okay, go for it, Jack. Genuinely, I worked on it. And I didn't ask for forgiveness just like that. I worked on getting that forgiveness because I earned it. If I earned it, people gave it to me. If I earned the respect again, people gave it to me. So for a whole week until there was a next until until the next episode, if you guys have seen, I was apologizing every day, yeah. genuinely every from day. the bottom of my heart, asking for forgiveness and for the respect again. Because who of us have not done a mistake? If I have done that mistake and it was that major, it was just because it was recorded on the camera. But who of you have not done a mistake in their life? Are we all saints? Am I the only sinner? No. So if we don't have this forgiveness in our heart to give it, we will never be able to forgive ourselves. We will never be able to, to understand that whatever mistake we've done, it's just a mistake and we should learn from it. We should not sit back and regret and blame ourselves. No, understand that you've done something wrong, come out of it, make it better, change the situation, flip the switch and come stronger. And I hope I was able to do that. I hope I was able to gain the respect and the forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. 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 And I protected their back. And uh, I was there for them. So once you're my friend, you're my friend. You are on a red zone. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can come close to you. Once you mess around, you're out of it. So to Gia, she lost my, I'm not going to say my respect. No, it's, that's too big. Um, of, course, uh, of course, she has my respect still. But she lost that place I had for her. Now I might be maybe friends with her, but I know for a fact that she has a very good heart. And I know for a fact whatever she tried to portray in the show, it's just for her to protect herself and keep that image because that's what you, go, what you guys know about uh, Gia. That's how you know her, right? That's what you see her. She, you don't know anything about her life. You don't know anything about the small details on her life. So it's her right to play the way she likes because she needs to protect that person. Whether if she has to fake it to make it, 
whether if she has to break uh, rules to be uh, um, uh, to be friends with people and leave other people it's the way she plays it's the way she is and I am in no position to call her fake that's way too big to call someone fake what do you know about what do I know about you to call you fake how much do I know you how would I allow myself to call someone fake and I don't even know about them anything except that I met them and I saw whatever it is that they showed me but that's that doesn't mean that this is their reality. Their reality is them. Whenever they decide to show it, they will show it. It's not for me to try to pull it out of them. So I totally respect the way she played, the way she is. It's how she is. It's not for me to judge. And um, of, of course, uh, we're going to meet hopefully soon outside. And we will definitely sit and have an amazing chat where there's no cameras, where there's nothing that we feel pressured, that we have to uh, speak in a way or behave in a way or uh, talk in a certain way or react in a certain way or exaggerate in a certain way. We will just be ourselves, whether it was with Gia, Abhishek, Elvish, I am 100% sure these people have the most beautiful heart and I'm 100% sure when I, click, when I sit with them, I will click on a different level. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time.